everybody, Marge Cohen here. How are you doing? There's a lot of storminess out there, and so I hope you're feeling good and peaceful and um, in control uh, of your inner environment if you're unable to control what's going on outside. So I've been thinking a lot lately about how um, looking at what's going on in the world in alchemical terms and can we apply alchemical processes to what we're seeing. And the thing that I think is happening is some sort of negredo, which is the stage in alchemy where everything starts to deteriorate and it's black and dark and it made me think of compost and how when in a compost heap which turns either old vegetables or even manure into fertilizer the things that are being composted first start rotting and they have to, it has to heat up. So, and when it rots, it gets really stinky and smells bad and things are literally breaking down and transforming. But in composting, you end up with some really nice fertile soil. So I think that that's what's going on. I'm hoping that that's what's going on. Mm. Also wondering if what we're seeing outside is, how is that a reflection of us internally? Um, I've read some interesting articles that point out things we might not normally think of because everyone is sort of focused on the, what is perceived as negative consequences, but some of the positive consequences is that cruise lines cause a lot of pollution and toxicity in the oceans. So maybe we don't need so many cruise lines. The planes leak a lot of fuel emissions. So it's a really, really interesting thing that we're, we're witnessing and we're also part of it. So I think we're watching compost and we're also being composted. So it can be especially confusing. Uh, you know, we don't know what's happening on one level. On another level, if I look at, mm, and, I, and I'll, I'll maybe get some exact quotes, but in, in Principles of Holism, in the book Holism by Dran Christian Smutch, Smuts, I don't know, Smuts, I think is the last name, um, organisms always try to find a way to get to homeostasis. So that whatever changes in the environment or through mm, evolution or mutations or the, the biology of organisms is that we are always striving for homeostasis so that even when something looks really, really, really confusing, that there is some order to it underneath and even though we may not be able to see it. So I hope you're finding ways to stay calm and healthy and grounded and in a good place. So I hope you have a good day and stay well.